This free step-by-step -step video comes to you directly from Haynes. You can complete more than 200 jobs on this vehicle when you purchase the complete online manual at Haynes.com. Engine oil and filter change. Pull the hood release lever located on the driver's side kick panel. Lift the hood safety latch, then raise the hood upwards and support it with the prop rod. Apply the handbrake. Chalk the rear wheels to prevent the vehicle from rolling. Loosen the front wheel lug nuts, then raise the front of the car and support it on jack stands. Being careful not to touch the hot exhaust components, position a drain pan under the engine oil drain plug. Clean the area around the plug, then remove it. Wearing protective gloves is highly recommended. It will also help to hold the drain plug against the threads as you unscrew it, then pull it away from the drain hole suddenly. This will place your arm out of the way of the hot oil, as well as reducing the chances of dropping the drain plug into the drain pan. Allow the old oil to drain into the pan. Wipe off the drain plug with a clean rag. Any small metal particles clinging to the plug would immediately contaminate the new oil. Also clean the area around the drain plug opening on the oil pan. If the sealing washer on the drain plug is damaged, replace it with a new one. Reinstall the plug and tighten it securely, but avoid stripping the threads. Position the drain pan underneath the oil filter. Loosen the oil filter by turning it counterclockwise with a filter wrench. Any standard filter wrench will work. Once the filter is loose, use your hands to unscrew it from the block. Empty out the oil from the old filter into the drain pan. Make sure that none of the old gasket remains stuck to the mounting surface. It can be removed with a scraper if necessary. Using a clean rag, wipe off the filter mounting surface on the block. Smear some clean engine oil on the rubber gasket of the new filter, then screw it into place. Over tightening the filter will damage the gasket, so don't use a filter wrench. Tighten the filter by hand only. Remove all tools and materials from under the vehicle being careful not to spill the oil in the drain pan. Lower the car to the ground. Then, tighten the wheel lug nuts to the specified torque setting. Remove the oil filler cap. Add new oil of the specified type to the engine through the oil filler neck. Use a funnel to prevent oil from spilling onto the top of the engine. Pour three quarts of fresh oil into the engine, then wait a few minutes to allow the oil to drain into the pan. Pull out the oil dipstick and wipe all of the oil away from the end of the dipstick with a clean rag or paper towel. Insert the clean dipstick all the way back into the tube until it seats completely, then pull it out again. Note the oil at the end of the dipstick. Once the oil level has reached near the upper hole, fully insert the dipstick and install the filler cap hand tight. Start the engine and allow the new oil to circulate. Allow the engine to idle for about a minute. While the engine is running, look under the vehicle and check for leaks at the oil pan drain plug and around the oil filter. If either one is leaking, stop the engine and tighten the plug or filter until it is secure. Turn the engine off and wait a few minutes. With the new oil circulated and the filter now completely full, recheck the level on the dipstick and add more oil as necessary. Add oil to bring the level back up to the upper hole. Fully insert the dipstick and install the filler cap, tightening it securely by hand.